Pollinating um, cycads in cultivation is extremely important. For one of the reasons with um, cycads, 52% of cycads are worn critically endangered, endangered or, or high concern. And this is what we, something we call um, species red listing, which highlights species that are of conservation importance. And because of this, if botanic gardens don't make an effort to propagate and reproduce these plants, we'll lose them forever. And because of the age that cycads date back 350 million years, without, inter without our intervention, they could become extinct within, within a few hundred years. So getting the syringe of the solution, which contains um, one sacket of pollen, plus um, just plain tap water actually, the water doesn't need to be distilled. On some species um, you can use a solution of not just water, but also a slight bit of soap to stop the pores properties of the cone. Once the pollination has been completed on the plant, the pollen will slowly dribble out the bottom of the plant, or the excess water really. But the aim of this is really some of the pollen should stick with inside of the plant itself. Well, the cycads, okay, it was originally believed to be um, wind pollinated. But really, when you're looking at the majority of the cycads, cycads were found by, by Connacht Norstog, a research that actually found that there were specific pollinators. And now we know that all of the cycads are pollinated by distinct groups of beetles. Um, and in Australia, you also get thrips. So they say that wind pollination accounts for about probably 3 to 5% of pollination events. But the majority of it is Pacific pollinators. And a lot of the time, a lot of the species is species-specific pollinator as well. Well, we'll know when, when this has been successful um, within, probably within, within about six or seven months. We don't know straight away because the actual fertilisation event will take between 90 to 120 days to occur. Because when, the, when, you actually, when this plant has been pollinated, the female, um, the female seeds will send a small droplet out and this small droplet will collect any pollen grains within the vicinity and take them in and they will get lodged in the archegonia. And then what will happen within this, with up to this 90 to 120 day period is these pollen grains will have to um, germinate. And when they germinate, they produce little um, sperm cells, which we call spermatozoids, which only really ginkgo and cycads have within all the plants that produce seeds. And then these spermatozoids will swim to the ovule to pollinate it. And after this period, we won't really know until the cone's fertile, by the cone will physically start to expand and then it will eventually start to break up and that's when we know the fertilisation is potentially successful.